Hello, and here we are with episode number 21 of the SK Twins podcast. And we have a very special guest this evening, Mr. Fabricio Asvedos, coming out of Brazil. How are you doing, Fabricio? I'm fine, brother. I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Thank you very much for being on the podcast with us tonight. We're, we are very honored to have you on the podcast. Brilliant, Fabricio. So I just want to start the same way I begin with everybody, brother. Where were you born and how was childhood growing up for you in Brazil and how was family life? I, I was born in Casa Branca, Brazil. My childhood was very good, was very good. I, I was able to enjoy it a lot. That's very good, that's and, very good. Uh, and my my family, my parents, I I have a good family, I have a good family. They ever ever help me do my things, help me all things that my life. I just need thanks for a day. Oh that's brilliant. That's amazing. It's amazing to see. So, brother, how did you begin in martial arts? Tell me, and what was your first coach in martial arts? How did you begin training? I begin practice martial arts. Yes. I I begin in karate because my father, my father was my coach. I I begin practice karate. When I was four years old, a long time ago. Wow, very long time you train. You have black belt in karate now? Yes, yes, I am black belt karate since 2015, 2015. <laughs> mm. So you compete in karate when you little kid? You competition in karate? Yes, yes, I compete. I I fought a lot of championships here in Brazil. I could won uh, a big championships here in Brazil. Okay, amazing. So for you, karate, your first style, your first uh, martial art. Yes, yes, my first, my first martial arts. Okay. Was karate. Okay. Tell me, what was what was school like for you where you grew up? Was many people fighting in school? Why why you wanna fight? Because of father? Yes, I began because my father. Mm. Because my father. So after this, I keep doing it because I love fight. I love do it. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And so tell me, uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, yes. I have uh, one brother, Marcos Azevedo, and uh, three sisters, Camila Azevedo, Giovanna, and Marina. Okay. Do they train martial arts as well, or only you? Uh, my brother, Marcos Azevedo, and uh, Camila Azevedo, they are black belt too. Wow. That's amazing. So I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question, brother. How your father, how he get into karate? Who inspired him? Can you repeat, please? Uh, No problem. I'm asking, brother, your father. I want to know why he began training in karate. My father began practice karate. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. A long time ago, because when I begin practice karate, uh, I begin practice karate 25 years wow. ago. And my father already black belt when I begin practice karate. So <laughs> a long time. Long time. Your father do competition before? Yes, yes. My father competition before. That's my brilliant. father was a good fighter. So your father gave you a lot of inspiration. 
Yes, yes. He gave me a lot. Inspiration. That's very good. No, that's amazing. So now I, w- I want you to tell me, brother, when did you start to fight professional and why? Because I think because I just know do it. I just know fight. I I love fight. So I began uh, pro MMA. Um, Six years ago, six years ago, when I did my first my first fight. Wow! Tell me about your professional MMA fights, brother. Today, I already have eleven pro fights. Wow! Yes, yes, I I have nine wins. Nine wins. And uh, seven wins by KO on first round. Wow. And two for submission in the first round too. <laughs> yeah. I never fight, I never fought, I'm sorry, I never fought two rounds <laughs> yep, during my carry. Yep, you are a very good finishing uh, fighter, very good uh, all-rounded fighter. Uh, it's excellent. Uh, so tell me, I want to I wanna know a little bit about your fights in Brazil. MMA uh, in Brazil right now. Many opportunities, not many opportunities. Tell me what it's like. Difficult for you? Here in Brazil, we, we have a good fighters. A good fighters. We have a good promotions. But uh, I know that I can uh, do more. Can yeah. you understand me? Yes, yes. And here in Brazil, we have a good promotions. But uh, my plans, my project is go to the other countries. Yes. You want to fight? I did, and I, I went to the Scotland. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So you fought all around the world. Yes, so you fought in Scotland before as well. Uh, so talk about yeah. talk about brother your UFL middleweight championship because you are a middleweight champion for the UFL. Talk about your fight that was in Scotland uh, back in yeah. back in uh, August the fourth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, when we went to the Scotland for fighting UFL, yes, it, it was the best thing that has happened. In my carry to date, because UFL for me was a big door for my international carry. So I just need to say thanks for you, brother. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Man. It was good to, yeah. to have you on the event. Yes, yes. You and your family. Thank you very much. Yeah, and hopefully in the future you're going to be able to defend your title and we're going to take you to the top. You're going to get signed by somebody big, hopefully Bellator, the UFC. I mean, you're a very talented fighter. Yes, yes. My, my plan is fight again for defense my my belt <laughs> yes. in UFL. I hope that hopefully. this happens. Yes. But uh, I think if I... I can fight in other category, maybe seven seven for the belt, and I I know that I I am I will win this fight, and the other big shows they could see it. Yes, yes, absolutely, brother. I agree one hundred percent. You are very close now to to get good opportunity. I feel. Because you have good record, you have very good style, and you have good finishes on your record. And that's what UFC want. That's what Bellator want. They want talented uh, MMA fighter like yourself. Yes, I hope. I hope. Yes. It happen one day. Yes, no problem. I am working. I am working hard for it. Brilliant, brother. So, brother, tell me. I want to ask you a little bit about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, I want to ask you about your training in Jiu-Jitsu. 
how long you've been training and your belt etc any competition you do i i begin practice jiu jitsu when i was 17 years old okay it's it, it, uh, a long time to a long time to today i am black belt jiu jitsu brazilian jiu jitsu black belt wow i am i like a lot <laughs> now practice jiu jitsu uh, before i i just like uh, kicks knee uh, elbows but uh, today i i love practice jiu jitsu <laughs> i practice every day yeah you're very good bro very talented can you please talk about when you come to scotland to fight on ufl you got to do a little bit of training with a ufc uh, athlete paul craig when you got to do some jiu-jitsu training talk about your training with him and how why that was good for you good experience for you yes yes when i went to the scotland i i had a big opportunity i could uh, practice uh, with uh, paul craig yes it, it was a big big experience because uh, he is a good fighter, he is a good uh, weapon, so I could do a, a big training with him and it's, uh, it was a big opportunity for me and uh, I hope one day uh, practice with him again. I remember when he fought versus Maurício Shogun here in Brazil, yep. UFC here in Brazil, he uh, talked to me if I could help him here in Brazil. <laughs> oh. It's a good opportunity because when I went to the Scotland, I, I practiced with him. So I think that I was a good training for, for him. <laughs> very good, yes. No, bro. And his coach, very nice man as well, Brian Gallagher, who runs his gym. Yes, yes. yes. He's a big man. Good, yep. Yeah. Very good. That was a great experience for you. So it was, it was good for us to get you to Scotland to fight on the UFL and you got to get some training with some very good athletes. Um, very great experience for all of us, you know. Cool. Very cool stuff. So, yes. so it's brilliant, you know. So, uh, brother, I just want you to talk a little bit about, because I know your father runs a gym. Can you talk about the academy your father runs? academy we have a gym when we we have some classes here we have crossfit we have box we have karate we have mma and i think is it and yes is it we have here at okay our gym Okay. And, uh, because yes, we have a social project too here in Brazil. Oh wow! A big social project. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very good. That's amazing, brother. Yeah. So your father really cares about charity. He likes to help um, yeah. the kids. That's good. That's martial arts. Very important martial arts to help in the community. So it's good your father is doing that. That's amazing. Um, could you, yeah. brother, I'd like to ask you just another question about your future plans. What are your plans, your projects for the future, uh, for your career in MMA? Uh, today, I, I need to fight. I, I need to do two or three fights, a big fight. So after this, my big, my big dream, my big plan is go to the UFC or Bellator. These two big shows. Yeah. And is it? Is it? I think after I fight again there in Scotland or or London in the UK. Yeah. I. I will show that I can do. Yes. One more fight for you on UFL. Defending belt. No problem. You go straight 
to Bellator or whatever, they will come for you, I believe. I believe, brother. I believe too, brother. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because I practice a lot. Yes. I train hard every day during all the week. Yes, yes. No, we know you're a professional. You're a professional athlete. So I want to ask you, brother, which fighters do you like to watch on UFC, Bellator, One Championship, anybody? Anybody that you like to watch? Yes, yes. I like you a lot. <laughs> Every Saturday, I watch the UFC. Brilliant. Who's your favorite fighter, brother? Uh, when I became watched the, the MMA, I loved watch the Pride. Do you remember the Pride? Oh yeah, absolutely, brother. Oh, I, Pride is legendary, brother. And, uh, in the, the beginning, I I appreciate the Vanderlei Silva, crazy dog. Wow. He was amazing. He was a crazy fighter. Crazy fighter. Yeah. And uh, by the time today, I I like. It. The Lyoto Machida, the dragon, because I think he is a, a karate fighter. Yes. So yes. I appreciate him. Yeah, absolutely. From today, do you like anybody from today in the UFC? Yes, today in the UFC, I appreciate Damian Maia. Damian Maia is a monster. <laughs> Of the BJ, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's excellent. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. strong Jiu Jitsu. Very, very strong Jiu Jitsu. Damien yes. Maia. Damien Maia. He's not too far away from you in Brazil, I believe. In Sao Paulo area from you. He's not too far away. Yes, yes. In Sao Paulo. <laughs> okay. Have you ever he, trained? He had a big gym here. Have you ever trained with Damien Maia? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I I could practice with him during seven years. Wow. I was sparring him. Wow, brilliant. So you do yes. you've done training with many good fighters. So you trained with good guys. Lots of good yes, guys. Yes, I already fight with uh, Damien Maia, Mauricio Shogun. Wow. And Jacaré, Ronaldo Jacaré. Wow. Uh, good fighters are already practicing here in Brazil. Brilliant. You tell me, brother, where is best MMA today in Brazil? Where? Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, where? Manila Junais. Where is the best MMA in Brazil today? In Brazil, how I already said for you, we have a good fighters, good fighters. Yeah, but I ask, where do you think best? Which city best? Today, I, I have two friends that I admire, and I think today, this guy is the best of the, the Brazilian, Brazilian fighter. He is Caio Borralho. Caio Borralho is a good fighter. And Presuntinho, <laughs> Presuntinho, my brother. Okay. I think he is the best fighter in this moment here in Brazil. Yes. Tell me, brother, what do you think about Amanda Nunes? Do you think she is very good champion? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Amanda Nunes is uh, the lion. He's <laughs> a monster. Yes, the lioness. Yes, she's yeah, very I good. I a lot her. Did you watch when she fight uh, against Cyborg? When she beat Cyborg? Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, no problem. Uh, I ask, do you remember when Amanda Nunes fight Cyborg? Yes, yes. How much? I remember. Yes, big fight. It was big a fight. Good fight. And I think this fighter. Uh, started really the upgrade the Amanda Nunes because Chris Cyborg, Cyborg 
was a, a monster to legend. And yeah. Amanda Nunes could prove that he, uh, her, that she is a monster. Yes, very true, very true. So, brother, I just want to ask you a little bit about um, if you have seen some martial arts movies that you like. I want to ask you: Do you like Bruce Lee? Do you like? Have you seen Jean Claude Van Damme movies? Bloodsport. Yes. During all my life, I watched movies. <laughs> Amazing. And this guy is an inspiration for me too. Amazing. Tell me your favorite martial arts movie. Tell me your number one. Uh, Karate Kid. <laughs> Karate Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch Karate uh, Cobra Kai TV show on ne- uh, Netflix? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I watch Cobra Kai. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. It's good TV <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. It's a good movie, very good movie. So, do you like Rocky? Did you watch Rocky when you were a kid? Of course. Yes. yes. Um, uh, so, Bruce Lee movies, Enter the Dragon? Yeah, Enter the Dragon, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like a lot. Yes, that's good. That's good, man. That's amazing. And obviously, uh, Bloodsport. Obviously, everybody likes Bloodsport. Uh, everybody watched that when they were a kid. Um, but yeah, movies are very good and martial arts, you know, it's excellent. I want to ask you, brother, do you like boxing? Yes, yes, I like boxing. Today, I practice boxing too. Good. In São Paulo City. Yep. With Pablo. Pablo is a good teacher, a good coach. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. So tell me, who do you like in boxing today? Who do you like to watch? Yes, yes, I like, I like, but uh, I watch more MMA fights, Yeah. but uh, when I can, I watch uh, box too. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's good, that's Usually good. Usually I watch it to study. Yeah, you study it, yeah, you study boxing more. Yeah. Who, which fighters do you study? Do you study anybody in particular, Floyd Mayweather, um, I don't know, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury? Do you study any fighters? Yes, I I study. I think ever, and I think I study. I I like Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. I like him because he is faster. He is smart when he fight. He is incredible. <laughs> yeah, no, he's brilliant. He's brilliant, brother. Oh, that's excellent, brother. So, bro, we're at, we're at the end, brother, of the podcast now. So I just want to ask you, bro, do you want to mention where can people find you on social media? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. What is your name so people can find you, brother? And any sponsors you have? Any sponsors you want to talk about? No, I don't have sponsor. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yet, 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 yet. Yeah. I hope that one day I will have a lot of sponsors. Uh, okay. Brother, what's your social media on Instagram? What's your Instagram? Fabricio Azevedo. Okay. And same for Facebook? Yes, same. Same for Facebook, okay. Because Fabricio Azevedo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, and what is your, your father's gym, your academy for people if they want to find... Okay, okay, that's brilliant. Yep, no problem, brother. So thank you very much. And this was episode number 21 with the UFL middleweight MMA champion, Fabricio Asvedos. Thank you very much, brother, for coming on. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same, brother. Thank you very much for coming on. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.